Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Located in the geographic center of North America and home to the Assiniboine Park, a world-class zoo, and the Assiniboine Forest. It encompasses over 1,100 acres of beautiful trees and parklands, with English gardens and many other attractions only minutes from the downtown core. The city is well known for its huge canopies of majestic elm trees, but over the past four decades, it has been decimated by Dutch elm disease, spread by the elm park beetle, which carry the fungus from tree to tree. As many as 6,000 trees are diagnosed and removed each year to prevent further loss. The resulting cost to the city of Winnipeg can range into the millions on a year-to-year -year basis. Located near the iconic footbridge across the Assiniboine River, one of the most majestic trees in the park, Grandpa Elm, was diagnosed with the disease and preventative measures had to be taken to help stop the spread to other trees. A local Winnipeg company, Alliance Tree Care, was contracted for the job and on October 6, 2016, a hardy crew of six men, led by owners Bill Schrader and Andrew Beach, assembled at the site in the early morning hours for the six-hour task of removing the 150-year-old tree and hopefully saving many others. With three bucket trucks and a large chipper, the crew set to work positioning equipment, gassing up their chainsaws, and setting up the rigging systems for dropping the larger limbs safely from the tree. Every technique in their arsenal was used during the process, which was carried out without any damage to the surrounding park area or roadways. Of course, a large group of passers-by congregated over the course of the morning to watch the proceedings, and traffic control was in place to prevent injury or damage to the hundreds of vehicles which tour through the park every day. Many of the larger pieces were put into storage to later be made into souvenirs for the Assiniboine Park Conservancy who manage the entire park and its amenities. Smaller branches were fed through the chipper throughout the day and disposed of as per government regulations. The main trunk of Grandpa Elm, which had a caliper of over 40 inches, was finally dropped at around noon that day, slowly dropping onto a bed of hay to prevent damage. It will be properly cured and then repurposed into usable lumber. <laughs>